So let's see what the effect of such a breakdown is and why it means that this is a problem for our market system. Let's explore each of these four kinds of externalities in turn and we'll begin with external costs in production. So here we have the supply curve again, which represents the sum of the marginal private cost curves of the firms in the industry. And our demand curve, where we'll assume there are no externalities in consumption. Then the market equilibrium price and quantity will be QPO, PPO, that is to say the private optimum quantity and the private optimum price. But if we assume now that there are some external costs in production, then the marginal social cost will be the marginal private cost raised by the extent of the marginal external cost. So if we assume for a moment that each unit of output that the firm produces does a pound's worth of damage to society in external costs, then that marginal external cost marked on the diagram is one pound. The marginal social cost curve is displaced upwards by a pound. That is to say the marginal social cost is marginal private cost plus marginal external cost. So that the social optimum output is where marginal social cost and demand are equal. That is to say, at a higher price, PSO, and a lower output, QSO. Although those units of output between QSO and QPO are worth producing from a private perspective, when we take into account the social costs, they are simply not worth it. Society's well-being would be increased if we reduced output and raised price of these kinds of goods where there are externalities in production. Now consider external benefits in production. Again, we've drawn the marginal private cost and the demand curve and shown the private optimum quantity of output and the private optimum price. But this time, there's a marginal external benefit. This might be increased crop yields that result from beekeeping and honey production. So that the marginal social cost is the marginal private cost less the marginal external benefit. So the private optimum is QPO. The socially optimal level of output is at QSO and price PSO. That is to say that in the presence of marginal external benefits, the socially optimum level of output is higher and the socially optimum price is lower than that given by the market. So an external benefit is also a market failure. Another example of an external benefit is that created when a hydroelectric dam is built. Like the beekeeper, the utility that builds a hydroelectric dam also produces positive externalities. Water becomes available for consumption and new recreational opportunities are created external to the production of electricity. Generally speaking, external benefits in production are less of a problem than costs because we tend to find that where there are external benefits in production, firms internalize them via mergers. At this lake, the utility has developed recreational facilities and sells permits to enjoy the lake and its fish stocks. But of course, the producer of external costs has no wish to take over the other firm and internalize the costs. For example, the polluter of the river has no purpose or reason to buy up the fish farm and to internalize the external cost. <laughs>